All right, guys, Papa Pepper here once again. Um, doing a series right now just talking about kind of business interactions and how we interact with one another. And uh, we can kind of talk about personal interactions in our personal life versus business, but there's kind of a lot of overlap of character, of uh, the way things are handled and the way things are done. So uh, this is actually the first video in the series, but it's the second part of the series, the first post you can see on steamit.com backslash at Papa Pepper. For those of you guys finding this on YouTube or something else. And uh, I wanted just to talk about the way we interact with one another. Um, a lot of times, like if I'm at a, a farmer's market or something, and somebody's got some nice fresh produce there, and uh, and they try to kind of like bundle and save me some money, a lot of times it's like, well, I really appreciate what they're doing. I, I like the good fresh produce. I appreciate the lifestyle they're choosing to live, the service they're encouraging uh, or providing for others, and I want to encourage them in that. So I... Uh, I'll say, well, how about, you know, I'll round up, like, oh, how about, uh, you know, 12 and a quarter? So, well, how about we just call it 13 even? Normally, people may try to call things 12 even or something like that. And what happens, I guess, in my life is a lot of times I just live my life like that. Um, the first part of the series, I was talking about some interactions I had with a young 13-year-old entrepreneur the other day, getting into uh, the rabbit breeding business, and... Uh, he was trying to sell a watering system, two watering systems, for 20 bucks. I said, well, how about we just call it 30? Um, give him a little extra startup capital for his business. Also, he had uh, four bucks and two does. Not a good ratio for breeding rabbits. Uh, you know, one buck and two does could do good. So he had like three extra bucks pretty much there. I said, well, I can only use about two right now. I said, but I'll give you two does each for him. Even though I could have argued that my does were more valuable than his, or, uh, you know, just went for a one-to-one -one ratio, I told him, chose to give him two does for each buck, so then he got six does and two bucks at the end of it, and, uh, you know, just wanted to bless the kid, um, encourage him, and also set that example. Uh, he can receive that blessing right now, but moving forward, he can remember that example as well. When he's in the, the position to bless somebody else, now he can use that. A little bit ago... I was trading some of my pigs. This is the, the part two of the series. I was trading some of my pigs for uh, some Muscovy ducks, a couple of roosters, and some goats. And uh, when I was doing this and picking them up, I heard the ladies that I was dealing with back a little bit, and they were whispering very quietly together. And I thought, oh, here we go. I can see what kind of business deal this is going to be, right? It was a thought that went through my head, and I thought, well, because normally if somebody's you know, talking to their partner quietly and whispering off on the side, they could be trying to swindle you, you know, they could be trying to uh, stack things against your favor, oh, make sure not to tell them this, you know, and that type of thing. And You know, I, I had that thought for a moment, here we go, but I thought, you know what, that's on them. Whatever they're talking about, even if it is something nefarious, if it is something, you know, not good, that's on them. If they're going to try to, you know, set things up where they come out ahead and I come out behind, that's on them. All I can do is be upright and honest in my business dealings and let the outcome fall where they may. Interesting thing, because if I went like, oh no, they're going to rip me off, i got to watch these people, they're going to rip me off and start you know, putting up a front and that type of stuff, I would have been completely wrong. Because what they were whispering about was they had taken a look at my boots. And uh, guys, look, I uh, make money, I can go shoe shopping, stuff like that. But the boots I happen to have at the time had both been stitched back together with dental floss. Um, you know, there's a nice size hole here. This quarter of the boot isn't really attached anymore. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in the world who just wouldn't be caught dead, you know, wearing wearing a pair of boots like that. Um, not sure why, but I, I don't care. It is what it is. They protect my feet. I stitched them up, I think, twice now. I could probably just use something better. Um, if I go to a store, guess what? No shirt, no shoes, no service. That qualifies. I wear those in, they got nothing to say. I, I qualify them, you know. So, so I don't really, although I could just go buy a new pair. Well, every month longer I wear these, you know, as one month longer my new ones will last because I don't have them yet. And uh, what these ladies had done is they saw my boots and they were whispering about that. And it wasn't too long as we're interacting and dealing that they came out with a pair of boots. They said, hey, would these fit you? I looked at them and I'm like, I don't think they actually will. Um, and it turns out they didn't. I thought, okay, you know, that's, that's fine. I appreciate your super generous offer. What an incredible, you know, blessing for somebody to say, hey, 
here, while we're trading these animals kind of even up, would you take these shoes as well? It looks like you could use them. And sure, I could, I could use them. I could put them on my feet. They'd function like that. Probably even better. And uh, anyway, they didn't fit. You know, they got the pigs. I brought my stuff back. Gave some ducks to bluer than green. That type of stuff. And uh, then I got a text message from them. Text message showed a pair of boots. They said, hey, we found these. Got a really good deal on them. And they're a size that fits you. I said, really? You know, because at this time, our business dealing is pretty much over. We traded where we were trading. They stayed where they were. I went back where I was. And uh, they said, yeah, we'll need your P.O. box. So not only did they buy these things, but they spent almost 14 bucks in shipping. I just picked this up a little bit ago at the, uh, at the post office. And uh, it's interesting. It's peculiar. I don't believe in karma or stuff like that. But, they picked up a pair of boots now, and they're used, you know, they're used. They're not as used as mine are, right? And wow, I mean, they're pretty solid. They seem pretty good. First time seeing these, just opened the box. But guys, they bought me a pair of boots, paid money out of their own pocket, and they spent like... You know, almost 14 bucks in shipping as well. Just to get me a pair of boots. They saw mine, they said, wow, this guy could probably use some. Offered me some that didn't fit, and they went out and bought a pair that would. I'm gonna try them on quick just to make sure here. But guys, oh yeah. That's a that's a fit. How crazy is that? So, again, why do I share this? Well, for one thing, I just share, you know what? With all of my interactions with people, and when I choose to bless them when I don't have to, I never have to receive anything in return for that. Ever. And, uh, you know, even these people, they didn't have to offer me that pair of uh, boots when I was there. They didn't have to find these and send them to me, but they chose to, guys. So I guess as you guys go about your daily, regular relationships and then also your business activities you may not always be in the position where you can afford to pay extra for something you may not always be in the position where you're free uh, in the position where you're able to make a trade and kind of get shortchanged on the trade first of all and second of all to be comfortable with it and uh, just wanted to encourage everyone we can do these things when you're in an opportunity to bless someone, you don't need to get every last dime out of them. If somebody needs to borrow money from you, you don't have to charge them interest. You're going to say, wow, you're so hard up for cash, you really need 100 bucks from me. Sure, but you got to give me 120 back. Like, they couldn't afford the 100 bucks in the first place. That's why they're borrowing it. You don't need to extort them. You don't need to treat them like that. So, just trying to set a good example myself and show you that... Uh, I'm certainly not alone in this, and you guys should see the next two parts of the series. It is crazy, some of the stuff that's going on. All right, pop out.